Now, we hear a lot about how you and other members of uh, the Canadian delegations, both from Ottawa and here in Washington, have spent a lot of time talking to the Trump people almost since Election Day. Has it really been that intense, the discussions back and forth? Well, early on, it was more uh, just getting to know them. I met the president-elect at the Army-Navy football game. I had met uh, Reince Priebus before. Uh, we had some relationships, but it was really trying to just introduce ourselves and, and get to know them and have them get to know us. In the last little while, it's become a little bit more intense. Um, you know, obviously we're talking not just about issues, but, but more importantly, really trying to impress on them the importance of Canada to U.S. security and U.S. prosperity. Uh, and I don't, think, uh, I don't think a lot of them know as much about Canada as, as we'd like them to know. Why do you think that is? Well, I think, you know, they take us for granted. I mean, they like us. It's, I, I have had nothing but uh, warmth and openness. But in terms of the substantive knowledge about the relationship between Canada and the United States, uh, I don't find that a lot of them do. They, 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 those who are in business that have either business partners in Canada or like Wilbur Ross, who's had some investments in Canada, they have that slice of knowledge, but they don't understand the breadth and the depth of it. And frankly, that's not their fault, that's ours. He's the uh, Secretary of the Treasury, so, or, or could be, uh, commerce, if he's confirmed, yeah. but, or Commerce, sorry. Yeah. Um, and a, a key person, especially on, on the trade front. Is it also partly because they, they're not particularly concerned yeah, about I think, Canada I, I think as that's opposed true. to the, the concern they have for their southern neighbor? Yeah, and I think in, in, in Wilbur Ross's uh, testimony this morning in the confirmation hearing, I mean, he basically said that. He said, you know, we're, we, we've got a more or less balanced trade arrangement with Canada and we're focused in on the areas where there are trade deficits and that's principally Mexico and China and other places like that. So, so I think they kind of, uh, you know, they're not pay, paying that much attention. And, you know, you're always tempted to say to yourself, well, maybe we shouldn't, we should just duck then. But, uh, but, but I think that's not a good strategy. I think it's really important that we, in, in an era when there's an awful lot of protectionist talk, it's really important to impress on them that there are nine million jobs in the United States that are dependent on trade with Canada. And I don't think very many of them know that, and I think it's really important we impress them. Are we past the, we're going to rip NAFTA up? Uh, I think that they are still going to want to make changes to NAFTA. And I think we're, uh, I think as I said right after the election, we're prepared to talk about any changes to NAFTA that will strengthen it uh, for both our countries, and, and uh, I'm sure the Mexicans feel the same way. Um, but it'll be interesting. Is that, are we looking at a, a long period of, I mean, we all remember how long it took to get NAFTA. Yeah, um, I think that their expectation is that it would be uh, a matter of months, not a matter of years, and and uh, we'll, Can we'll you see. see. That? Can you see, could you see the kind of differences that you've noticed already settled in a couple of months? I, I, I you know, I think it's going to be important for us to whatever changes are going to be made, whatever the strengthening of the relationship is going to be. We need to do it as quickly as possible because I think it's important for the business community and, and frankly for Canadians and Americans to understand that this is a really strong relationship and a stable relationship and there's a good investment climate. So I, I, I mean I think it's important for us to take any of the uncertainty that might be. There's always uncertainty when there's a change. Uh, this one because of all the talk during the election campaign is probably more uncertainty than ever before and so I think we've got to try and work as hard as we can to remove that uncertainty. All right, Ambassador. Good luck on that and right. uh, have fun on Friday. Yeah, well, good to see you. Yeah. Take care.